Hey guys, I figured I would show you how I made this particular garland. I do have another video here on YouTube when I did an oak garland for our previous home and it was the first time I started using a, um, it was trumpet vine actually that I pulled off a fence and that kind of got me going on the project. This particular one, this piece of garland here, I do not have any twine or anything inside. I actually have the leaves twisted upon themselves with wire and I'll show you how I did that and then I'm also going to show you how I did the first garland um, when at my other home where I took individual leaves like this and put them in a grouping then I wrapped them up then I attached it to the twine I really don't know which is faster I think I'm just going to keep going with the way I started this particular garland I do know that I'm probably going to use more wire doing it this way, but um, I just, you know, I'm doing what is relaxing to me. I love doing projects. I'm just making a little time here and there to put some together. I'm hoping to do about 32 feet. I don't know if I'm going to get that much done, but we'll see. Um, so what I have here is I went outside and I grabbed just a bunch of leaves off the yard. And I have to say the first time I did this, I tried so hard to find leaves that weren't broken or have holes. You know what? I realized it didn't matter because once it's together, once it's up, you don't see them. So I really um, am not being as selective and you can see that you know the finishing product is really full and pretty and I hope once it's up it will look just as good as the oak. I don't, once again, I don't know how well the maple leaves will hold up but the oaks did really well they were up for a good month and a half and i will put some of the old photos of the old video within this one but it is also somewhere on youtube i believe it might be just on my blog i'll have to look so i'm right now going to set myself up here i have a, a flameless candle here going don't want to use real flames while i'm working with dry leaves that's for sure and get my bag of leaves and Let's get going. I'm just showing you that once again, there is no twine in here. Before I called this twine, just a floral wire is all you need. But the stems for each leaf are what I'm going to be working off of. Okay, so here I am again. I'm going to, I, I made one grouping already. And once again, I don't care that this has been completely chewed by bugs as long as there's no bug here and because I want that pop of green throughout it also so I'll just put that in and then with the other leaves in there you're not even going to be able to see it just group them together it's kind of like you're making a bouquet of flowers no different And then let me see, what did I do with my, don't know what I do with my wire. Oh, here it is. So once again, just wrapping this with a piece of wire. Now, if there was a string here, I would attach these on the string or the garland, like so. But what I did to get this one started, let's say this was my first piece. I had my twine that I was kept on here. Let's see, just get my base started here. And I hope that this is in the frame for you. Then I took a, a group of leaves and this time with this, I didn't pre-bunch them with the wire. So I just took a, a grouping and I held them with my hand and then just gave it a few wraps. This one's going to be in the way. Just wrapped it a few times. I'm just going to grab a few more leaves from my bag here. I should probably put it up on my chair. This would be a little bit easier. So once again, just grabbing some leaves. I'm not going to put the, tie them together. I'm trying to put some of them back to back. I am trying to grab some that are different colors just so that there's some pops in. I didn't find a lot of green this morning. 
Once again, I didn't tie it, but I'm just gonna put it, let's see, I'm gonna reopen this up a bit. Just gonna put that here and wrap it nice and tight. And you want it tight, because if this shrinks at all when they dry, they could loosen. And I'm just gonna leave that open to the side so that it will be easy to wrap again. Grabbing my leaves. Oh, here's a nice oak leaf. Grab some green. Once again, it's chewed. No, no, no guys on there, that's all right. They can be curled up. And just gonna lay it on and wrap it around. I guess it's time to wrap up this video. Looks like Willow has fallen asleep on the chair. She's not used to the time change for her fall. But um, I actually ran out of wire and I'm gonna get more and I need to do another, probably another length of this. But I wanted to get the tutorial up at least because so many of you on uh, Instagram have asked how I did this. And if it takes me a time to finish this and hang it, you might not have leaves to do this yourself. So I will post a video of this garland up on my home once it's finished. Um, if I don't make it longer, I will put it over a different doorway to show you. But one thing I did not mention is that I did do it in two separate parts so that I can make it go two different directions. But it's a little different than with greenery that hangs one direction. Usually when you make a garland, this is kind of hard to tell which direction it's going. So I probably didn't have to do it in two parts, but I prefer to, and then I will know exactly what center is. I will join these two and that will go right into the middle of the doorway. And then I'll add to the length. So I could even hang this maybe tomorrow or Tuesday and then just keep adding to the length of it if I so choose. So if you have any questions about this garland, please uh, write them below. Feel free to reach out and ask. Um, like I said, I have the other video that I did this for my house in uh, another town. Different leaves, a little bit different look, but I'm pleased how this came out. Enjoy everyone. <laughs>